Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be the next part in working with the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Uh, when we finished with the first part, we had a basic map over here that just has a very simple gray background uh, and it doesn't have any functionality. If we uh, look over here at the script that we used, uh, we just have a gray base map with a zoom set to 5 and we put in a sample location here. Just a an easy walkthrough that we took through from, uh, from their examples. Um, but now when a lot of people get to this point, they don't really know where to go from here. Uh, they want to add some functionality to the map, um, but they you know, don't really know how to do that. You maybe want to have a navigation bar up here. Uh, you want to have some different buttons uh, that do different things. Maybe you want to have some buttons in here that switch between base maps uh, within your map so that you don't have to do it within the code. Um, so, you know, you could go in and start adding in, you know, some buttons and some functionality, but it might look bad and it might not work the way that you expect it to work. Um, so what I would recommend is uh, starting with a, with a template, with a starting template. Um, the most popular starting template that people use is a framework called Bootstrap. And getting the Bootstrap framework to work with the maps is a little difficult, but luckily uh, Esri has already done that for us. If we go over here to Google and type in ArcGIS Bootstrap, then the top link here is a link to one of their uh, GitHub repositories called Bootstrap Map JS. Um, really quick, I'm just going to go over here to Esri's uh, page on GitHub. And you can see that they have a, a lot of code that they put out here. Um, so if you work with ArcGIS a lot, I uh, highly recommend that you bookmark this page. It's uh, you know something useful to check out from time to time. And it's not only JavaScript. You can see here they have um, uh, some Java, some ActionScript, some C Sharp, and some Python. A um, bunch of different things. So uh, it's extremely useful. But if we go back over here to this Bootstrap Map JS, uh, they have a sample here that we can take a look at. And you can see they have two samples. One is Dojo plus jQuery, and another one is Pure Dojo. Uh, I prefer to have uh, jQuery. I think it's easy to work with, um, and you know it's fairly popular with, uh, uh, with JavaScript. So if we click on here, then we can see we, we have our top navigation bar, and we have a basic map. Um, so this top navigation bar is already responsive um, right out of the box. And what I mean by responsive is that it looks good on um, mostly all screen sizes. So uh, say that someone was browsing your map on their mobile phone, um, then there's a lot of text up here on this navigation bar. And you see if we get down to a small screen size, that when this text, text can't fit anymore, it pops into a hamburger menu that just slides down and you know it's really smooth and all that's built in to where we don't have to uh, code all this stuff ourselves from scratch um, so that's really nice um, let's see they also have a grid layout here where if you wanted to have a sidebar on the right uh, with your map on the left um, that's already set up you can do a center map with a sidebar on the left and a sidebar on the right and last one, you can do a sidebar on the left uh, with a map on the right. Um, this is pretty neat. This uh, web map example that they have here loads in a uh, map from ArcGIS Online, and um, it already has functionality built in where you can click on the map and you know look through different features here. They also have a legend that can be maximized and minimized over here. Um, yeah, so uh, a lot of good examples right out of the box. Um, if you look at the main page here, they also have uh, this Quick Start Map JS, and this is another set of templates. And I'm going to show you the difference between um, between the two downloads. So let me go ahead and close this page, and let's go ahead and uh, just jump into it and download both of these repositories and put them onto our local server so that we can start playing around with them. If you are familiar with Git and GitHub, then you can go ahead and clone these repositories onto your desktop. Uh, but if you're not familiar, or if you just want to download a zip file, then you can go ahead and download, zip, download the zip file here too, and it's, uh, you know, it's uh, the same thing. 
Um, so let's go ahead and download both of these. And I will extract both of these files. And I'm going to go ahead and drag these over to my local web server. Um, if you watched part one, then uh, you should already know how to have your web server set up um, uh, so that we can view our, uh, view our websites locally. Um, let me, I'm going to go ahead and call this quick start map. I'm going to call it, um, I already have a part one, so I'm going to call this part uh, 2A. And I'm going to call this bootstrap map part 2B. And now I'm going to go ahead and drag these over to my local web server. Okay, and let's see what these look like. Okay, so this is part one. And you see up here in the address bar, I have localhost 888, and it's in a folder called ArcGIS JavaScript and in a folder called part one. So I'm going to navigate over to part 2A. And this is the uh, quick start map JS repository. And if I go to 2B, to then we should see. Okay, now we can see the directory listing for the second repository that we downloaded. And now if you click here on demo, then you can see it takes us back to the demo that we saw before online at um, through this link here in their repository in Esri's repository. But now it's running on our local web server. So you can see up here it's running on localhost. Um, so let's go back over here to Let's go to the part 2A folder, and this was the quick start map repository through, through Esri. Um, now what this is, is this is just uh, a lot of samples to, that you can keep referring back to if you need to look at specific code, uh, or if you want to start with one of these samples, then you can do that too. It's, um, it's a way to get you, um, you know, just uh, to dive right into it uh, and have some specific functionality right out of the box. So. For example, say that you want to switch through base maps. Um, so let's just click on the first base maps, base maps example here. And you can see this looks a lot like the map that we finished with in part one uh, with the gray base map. Um, but now we have some functionality up here uh, in this base maps menu that lets us toggle through different base maps. Um, if we go back, we can do, they have a base maps widget where they replace the text base maps with these images so that you can get a preview of what it'll look like. Um, they have, I'm not going to go through every single one of these. You can download it and look through them all yourselves, but uh, they have a lot of cool example here, examples here. They have uh, the geocoding. Um, they have it to where you can load a GeoJSON file using their uh, Terraformer uh, repository, another repository that they have up on GitHub. Um, so a lot of nice functionality that you can use right off the bat. Um, down here they have an HTML5 geolocation sample. Uh, so if your browser has geolocation turned on, then we can click up here on the geolocation button and it should, uh, yep, uh, zoom to our location. Um, so these are a lot of nice uh, templates to get you started uh, using any specific functionality and you can um, you can uh, dive in here if we look at uh, Sublime Text, you can go in and look at all this code. You can look at all the examples that they have and see um, exactly how they do. So for example, um, you know, the geo search. They have all the code here that you can look through. Um, the starting templates that I like to start out with is if we go to part 2B, this is the one that we downloaded that has the demo that was uh, the same online. But instead of going to this demo folder, um, go down here to this templates folder. And within the templates folder, uh, you have uh, four different templates here to get you started. If we click on full map template, uh, then we can see we have a navigation bar up here at the top. Uh, we have a way to switch through base maps. And we have uh, two links here that um, are just dead links right now, but uh, just uh, to get you started. Um, let's go back 
and look at some of the others. We have a GeoSearch template here, which is almost exactly the same as uh, the full map template. It's instead, but instead of having a base maps drop down, it has a GeoSearch button here that um, yeah, you can search for uh, certain things in the area. And it also has some default uh, click functionality here to look at some extra metadata. Um, and we have two more. Uh, the starter template. The starter template's uh, very similar to uh, the full map template also, uh, except uh, you'll notice that the map doesn't take up the entire bottom of the screen here. It has a map title and a description that you can add in here, um, which is nice if you're making an online map and you want to, you know, put in some text to uh, describe uh, what your application's about, then um, this will be how you do it. And any of these samples, um, let me pull this up in Sublime Text. If we go down to Part 2B and Templates and Starter Template, any of these samples, you can just open up the code and um, and just start going through it and making modifications. So uh, say instead of project name, I wanted this to be um, you know, Awesome Map. And then um, for instead of Bootstrap Starter Template, we could do my awesome map template. And if we save that and reload it over here on our local server, you can see that the title up here changed to awesome map and also our headlines changed here. So um, these can, uh, templates uh, you can just jump right into and start making some changes quickly. Uh, there's one last template that they give you here. If I go out into the directory and go into this web map template, this is just the um, example that they have where you can load in a map from ArcGIS online. Um, so uh, there, and uh, like the other examples, there's uh, code that you can dig into in, here in Sublime Text and, um, and you can see exactly how they're doing that. Uh, the template that I usually start off with is the Full map template. So let me go ahead and open this up again. And let me go ahead and open it over here in Sublime Text. And I'll close down this other one. Okay, now if we wanted to use one of these starting templates, then we probably want to make a new separate project and then only bring in the code that we're going to use because there's a lot of extra code and we don't want all the templates in our own starting project. Uh, so let's go ahead and walk through that really quickly. Um, if I go over here to Finder um, within my local web server, let's go ahead and uh, make a new folder called, um, we'll just call this Starter Map. And I'm going to open this up in a new tab. Okay, so if I wanted to use one of these starter templates, let me go ahead and open them up over here. Um, we're going to need this source folder, so let's copy and paste this over. Um, what that source folder is, is it has the uh, Bootstrap CSS and the Bootstrap JavaScript. Um, and let's go down here into the templates folder. And so say for example, I wanted to use the full map template. Let's open up the full map template and we can copy over the CSS and the HTML, okay. And now, let me close these down and uh, pull it up in Sublime here. Uh, but now you'll notice if I um, open up a new tab here with this new starter map, it does not work. And it doesn't work because uh, from where we move stuff around, we uh, change the relative paths for a few of the things. So let's go down to our starter map and let's open up the index.html file. And now there's a few paths that are now different. Like for example, um, it's not in the, uh, our index file isn't in the templates folder anymore. So we don't need to go up a few directories here um, uh, for this CSS style sheet. We can just, um, it's just going to be in source and CSS. Okay. And let's see if there's another one here. Okay. So here's another relative path. 
that is no longer up in a few directories anymore. Um, so if we save that and then reload our map over here, let's see if that works. Okay, so now we have the map pulling up. Let's test the functionality and make sure that we can change these base maps. Okay, so that's working well. Um, now the only thing left to do, if I was to start um, with this template, then like we did in our first tutorial, um, we want to separate out our main CSS and uh, our main JavaScript into external files. But um, this tutorial is going on kind of long, so I'm not going to walk through that. I uh, showed you how to do that in part one. So if you want to know how to uh, move your uh, move this JavaScript file and this starting CSS file here into an external CSS and JavaScript uh, uh, files, then uh, you can just watch part one and check that out. Um, so hopefully all this was clear. If you guys have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. And um, hopefully this was useful for you guys. And thanks for watching.